Hi, this is Riday Gatani, and I'm here with Rolling Stone India. So last year has been uh, really, really uh, incredible, I would say. It's been a roller coaster of the best kinds. Uh, the album released last year, which was again a leap of faith for me. And I think I did a couple of things that were a leap of faith for me. I did this um, musical. I started the year with this musical at Dubai Expo uh, with Rahman sir, with A.R. Rahman sir. He was uh, one of the creative heads and also composing for the entire musical alongside Mr. Shekhar Kapoor who was directing the musical and had uh, ideated and created the entire musical. And alongside another incredible Australian company called Artists in Motion that has literally pulled off a couple of Olympics and God knows what not. So it was uh, an extremely, extremely, um, I would say, it was an experience that I will never forget because I think it's taught me so much. So that started off the year with a bang. And uh, then it went on to the album. And I was so grateful that finally I took the leap, leap of faith of putting that out and people gave it a great response and uh, everybody was super supportive. In fact, Rolling Stone was super supportive as well. And that was I was really glad about that. Um, after that, I went on tour with Mr. A. Rahman again, and this was a tour of no other kind. It was it was incredible. Uh, we did like 27 cities in North America over 50 days, uh, and we were literally in buses, those proper tour buses where you have sleepers, and all the artists were together. So we had so much fun, uh, obviously exchanging, you know, time with each other and being able to spend time as a band over two months. It was incredible. And yeah, then, then I came back and uh, you won't believe it, but I put my finger in another pie, which was basically acting, singing, dancing in a live theatre musical for Saregama India um, in London. We recreated Disco Dancer, uh, the Mithun, Jimmy Jimmy. And that's why this entire get up this long hair. So yeah, this year has been amazing. Can't ask for better. It is surreal, you know. I mean, I have had the f good fortune, I would say, and been super lucky to have had a lot of opportunity to spend time with him. Uh, on the tour, we were still in two different buses and we were all always on the road and he was working and I was also doing my own thing and etc. But even in the studio when we're like spending eight, eight, 10, 10 hours together, it's always surreal because uh, I know him, I mean, I've been working with him since 2014 now. And um, I just can't pinpoint on one thing to say about what's great about working with him. There are f millions of things. To say, because every day is new, every day is exciting, every day. Literally, I was with him last weekend and we were working on some project. And even there, I felt like there was something extremely new that he brought onto the table. And that's why he is who he is. He's the maestro for that reason. Um, it is, um, I think the coolest part about working with him so closely is that you, honestly, it's strange that I'm even saying this, but... He doesn't make you feel like he's A.R. Rahman. Like, when you see him from afar, you're just like shivering a little bit because you're like, this man is eternal, he's incredible, he's like the god of music. But when you start working with him closely, he kind of makes it so easy and comfortable for you to work um, and be, um, like, give your opinions with confidence because sometimes you're just like, I mean, what does my opinion matter to Mr. A.R. Rahman? But it does, you know, like, he, he loves that. He enjoys it. He loves uh, the give and take of information and just jamming on ideas, which is awesome. Busking in Bombay, wow. So I basically, uh, I, we did disco dance in London and I saw a lot of people busking and it's always been on my mind. One day I wanted to busk, I want to busk, I want to busk. And I know that when you go like obviously to London and stuff, places like that, you need a license to actually busk. Uh, anyway, point being, cut to this song that I uh, like kind of rewrote. It's um, two, I mean two covers, mushed in together in a way. Uh, it's, I wanted to do something where I brought Kavali and Gospel in the same plane for this project that I used to do called The Indian Connection. So I've taken uh, Rihanna and uh, Sir Paul McCartney's song for five seconds and um, Usad, uh, uh, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan Saab's song Khat Mein Rasool and put them together. But I've rewritten the lyrics of uh, four, five seconds to do char seconds. Uh, not extremely different, but the rest is very different. Um, and when we thought of what should we do for the video, how should we promote this song? And I was like, you know, we keep, uh, we make things so complicated in life. We are always, you know, uh, so busy in our rat race, so busy in the, um, 
in in getting to that destination that we forget about the journey. We we stop. We we forget to stop and think for two seconds about what will just bring us joy or what will what will make us connect to something bigger than ourselves. And I realized that somewhere busking is that right. But I mean, you're you're literally going out in the street and performing for people for what? For just to make them happy, and just to give your art out to people. So I think that's. Where the idea of let's go busk on the streets and just like bring smiles on people's faces came out from, and um, we ended up um, going to a couple of locations in Bombay. We had these fish bowls with us filled with uh, uh, really really nice notes uh, which were handwritten, and they made people smile. And I was so glad. And I sang the song and I sang a couple of songs and people sang along with me, and um, yeah, it was incredible. I was so scared in the beginning of the day, and I picked up a chit myself, and it said. You got this. Don't worry. And I was like, okay, great. That's what I needed. Uh, but um, it went off super well, and I feel like that's what needs to happen, right? Art. We we need to take that leap of faith that you know, if the art is pure, the music is good, and you go out there and connect with your audience at that primal level, everything will be okay. So yeah, that that's what happened. It was so much fun. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, so Disco Dancer comes to India. Which is going to be super exciting. Um, that's going to be happening hopefully in April. That's um, we don't have any official dates yet, but hopefully in April we'll have Disco Dancer in Bombay. Uh, then comes to I'm doing a couple of songs with um, a label right now, and those should come out very soon. And apart from that, yeah, I'm gigging with Rehman sir. A lot of stuff is happening, and the idea this year is to actually put out more original material. Uh, like I took that a couple of leap of faith leaps of faith last year, and they worked out for me. I think I'm gonna do a couple more this year, and many more. I would say. I don't know, man. I mean, uh, I'm not even a great multitasker, to be very honest. Uh, that's one of the things that I need to learn how to do. Because when I'm in a in a project, I literally cut out everything else, um, every other part of the world. But this year, I'm trying to juggle everything together. Let's see how it works out. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun, you know. I think the the best part about being a musician and uh, being able to be a part of this entire industry uh, is that everything connects to everything in a way, right? Because like, when I'm doing music supervision, I'm still around music, obviously. When I'm doing disco dancer as an actor, singer, performer, I'm still doing what I love. I'm still performing, singing. Um, when I'm um, Working with Sir on tours, obviously that's the dream come true because you're getting to tour, you're going to see the world, you're going to perform in front of different audiences, you're going to perform uh, different songs, different languages. Like I sing Tamil and Telugu with Rahman Sir on stage as well. So I think everything just happens very easily. I mean, you you're able to switch between everything very easily because it's all exciting and new, and it it's new every day. So that's that's what makes it super fun. Thank you. Thank you.